Okay, in this video, we're going to try to do 1995 AB5, which is a related rates problem. Uh, you know, it's kind of old, but uh, it's, it's an interesting problem because we have like one thing and something's happening there, but then this tank is leaking into this tank. So the rate of change of the volume in this tank is definitely related to the rate of change of volume in this tank. So let's see if we can solve it. Um, so as shown in the figure above, Water is draining from the conical tank. So it's going out of this one. Uh, that tank has an a, a ultimate height of 12 feet, but depending on how much is in there, you know, we'll have an H type of height. Uh, diameter, diameter, that's tricky because usually we use the radius, which I'm gonna use. So diameter of eight, but I'm gonna say a radius of four um, into a cylindrical tank with an, a base area of 400 pi. So this is a really important fact. So the base of this, is 400 pi, it doesn't change. So uh, the volume of stuff that's in here is gonna be the area of the base, which is 400 pi times however much uh, the height is, right? So that's gonna change, obviously. Well, I guess obviously, I don't know. Uh, the depth H in feet of the water in the conical tank is changing at the rate. So the water in here is changing at a rate of H minus 12 feet per minute. So, I mean, that's, a strange thing, but uh, the depth of water in the conical tank, I totally missed when I was highlighting that, uh, H minus 12 feet per minute. So I'm gonna write that down. So dH dt, first thing I've written all day, usually very shaky, is gonna be H minus 12. And then that's feet per minute. All right, let's solve this thing. Write an expression for the volume of water in the conical tank as a function of h. All right, so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna draw the triangle, right? So the triangle that we need to use to really solve this. Ugh. Let's just go with, turn it into lines. It's like, I wish I had better handwriting. I don't know that you can do much about that, but if you could, I would, I would put in some effort to improve this. That is very obviously not a horizontal line, but no time to care. So four, and then this is 12. I'm gonna call this R, I'm gonna call this H. All right, so that's my picture. I'm gonna use that and let's bring it down here. So we're doing part A. Okay, so from the picture, I know that so I generally like to keep things together. So I'll do like four over 12 is R over H. So four over 12 is R over H. And I can use this to either get rid of R from the volume formula or to get rid of H from the volume formula. Just depends on which one I'm interested in. You're almost never interested in R. You almost always get rid of uh, R. So the volume is one third pi r squared h. So we want to get rid of r because we're supposed to get a function of h. So let's use this and say that r is equal to one third of h. And then what we'll do is we'll just take this and where we see r, we'll replace it. And suddenly this is just a function of h, which is actually a pretty common thing to do. So h over three squared times h. So we'll get the volume is one over 27. Well, I guess let's do pi over 27. Doesn't really make a difference. You know, obviously it doesn't make a difference, but I think it's a little cleaner this way. There you go. I think that's my answer to a, which is like, a, that's like an algebra, maybe algebra one question, I don't know. Um, at what rate is the volume of water in the conical tank changing when H equals three? So uh, this question is really basically saying, uh, find dV dt when H equals three. All right, so let's write that down. Find dV dt when H equals three. All right, so V is equal to pi over 27 h cubed. Then if I take the derivative, so why don't I go vertically? Take the derivative with respect to time of both sides. 
So this is a, a useful step to show that I often skip. So dv dt is going to be, uh, so pi over 27 times 3 is pi over 9 h squared times dh dt. All right, now what do I do with dh dt? Because I've not really addressed that. Like I know that uh, h will be 3, so that's going to be 3. I need something for dh dt. But if you remember in the problem, we were told something. We were told that the depth h uh, in feet of the water in the conical tank is changing at a rate of h minus 12. So that we said was dh dt is h minus 12. So here, I'm going to put comma, dh dt is h minus 12, which means at h equals 3, dh dt is going to be 3 minus 12, negative 9. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace dh dt with negative 9. I don't know if it'd be better to somehow get this as a function of h first. I don't, I don't know. Nothing about the problem tells me that I should probably do that. So I'm going to say dv dt is pi over 9. Uh, h is 3 squared, negative 9, which gives me overall negative 9 pi. What are the units? What are the units? Uh, feet, feet per, so linear units are in feet per minute. This is volume, so it'll be cubic feet. So feet cubed per minute, per minute. Is that a lot? I don't really know. And then, wow, I'm like writing huge. Either I'm writing huge, well, I guess this problem like takes up a lot of space. So that's, that's probably why. Um, okay, so now we're gonna let Y be the depth of water in the cylindrical tank. So why is the amount of water, the depth of the water there? So uh, this distance is going to be y. And if you remember what we said, the volume of this is going to be the area of the base times the height. Now we know the height is y. The area of the base doesn't change. It's always 400 pi. So that doesn't really depend on anything. So for the, the cylindrical tank, so like v cylindrical, it's going to be the area of the base times y. That's it. Um, so what's the question? At what rate is y changing when h is equal to 3? Indicate units of measure. All right, so I'm going to take this down with me, I guess. Um, so let's say this is part c. So for part c, we are looking for, uh, what are we looking for? The rate of change of y? Uh, yeah, the rate of change of y. So that's like the height. So dy dt, find dy dt. Find dy dt when, I guess when h equals 3. I mean, that's the only thing we would know. Yeah, when h equals 3. OK, so if it, so here's the key thing. This is our dv dt for the tank, right, for the conical tank. Oh, I guess they're both c's, so uh, whatever. I chose to use c for a cylindrical, but um, so this is for the conical tank. So water is leaking out of there. As the water leaks out of here at nine pi cubic feet per minute, yeah, it leaks into here at the exact same rate. So the rate of change of the volume here is the opposite of the rate of change here. So no matter what you got for B, you have to use the opposite of it here. So I'm gonna use positive nine pi cubic feet per minute for dv dt in this section. So when h equals 3, which means dv sub c dt is positive 9 pi. Um, all right, so dv sub c dt is going to be 400 pi dy dt. And this is like surprisingly straightforward. dy dt is going to be uh, the 9 pi, so we're going to use this for this, and that's it, I think. So I'm finding this like really straightforward, and for some reason that's bothering me. So I just get 9 over 400 uh, cubic feet. Nope, nope, nope. That's the rate of change of height, so just feet. Feet per minute. And there you go. Um, 
So if nine over 400, there's no pi there. Makes makes some sense to me because it's a rate of change of height and like, I don't know why height would have pi in it, but that's not like a, a rule. You can't really use that. Um, pretty straightforward, I think. Uh, sometimes you'll see this as like a coffee, a coffee thing is draining into like a coffee cup. That's like a common thing. Oil is always leaking somewhere. Um, but anyway, that was 1995 AB5, pretty good uh, related rates question. So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.